What's oh good in the hood, chumps? Alright. New season, you get the idea. So you have to do 10 matches to actually get the rank. So, we're gonna do that today. The title just came in for Valencia. I gotta remind myself that I got second, so I'm bad. And that I fell off. Something like that, anyways. Okay, so, after Valencia, bro, I'm not gonna lie, I have been sick forever. I've been, like, I've been coughing for, like, ever. Like, it's it's been it's been really hard, just, like, in general, just, like, walking around with the stuffy, stuffy brain. Stuffy everything, honestly. I felt like I couldn't, like, hear anything for a bit. Alright. Bow and tag should be pretty simple. And then, spear and tag is just, like, it's tolerable. Last fall. Nice. I should have pushed him away, but I guess I just wasn't fast enough. He's very ambitious. It's like in a way where like he's very committed towards everything that he does. It's just like he doesn't give it he doesn't really give it a second. It took a while to, to place, but it's fine. Everything's looking, everything's going swimmingly so far. Now we just grind the lead. That was annoying. Even though he went for the, even though he was like landing on the platforms, for some reason I just wasn't able to like... Sn snag the tub! <coughs> ah! Seems to be some residue for residue. From yesterday. No. There's a dash there. Um, pretty sizable. Orange, not bad. Now I know that he seems to drag out his options, which is good. There we go, that's much better. Initially I was kind of just letting him have free will on the platform when he didn't have a weapon. Uh, I try to read the dodges, but the execution kind of, kind of sucked this thing. Oh well, I put us in the end anyways. That's our first dub. Please? Uh. Dude, crossovers are scary because they always like narrow the attention of a of a good character. People weren't really playing cross until we kinda just came around. And then people found out. And then by BCX, there's like three world champion cops. And it's just like, okay, well, well then. Right, let me focus up. We're gonna win. We're gonna watch stage. So let's do that. There. Jumps away from me. Okay. With guns, you kind of have to give the you have to give the weapon space and like respect. If you don't, then like you're you're prone to fail. I feel like. Hey, 
It's I, I will say though in top level play, it's actually extremely hard to punish. At least on reaction. That works. <coughs> yeah, nah. I'm still a little sick, but like nothing I can't handle anymore. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. That tear was so early. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, nah, he wasn't dodging on, on Sarah anyways, so. It's fine. It was, it was a calculated risk. Through and jump dodge off. Okay. Nice. I actually read the double whip with the dare. Please. Oh my god. I'm feeling confident for summers, um, but it feels wrong to be to feel confident. But like I unlearned it, so so like, why am I supposed to be bothered about it? Or why am I supposed to be like? Why am, I supposed to, why am I supposed to be thinking about it this much? I earned it. I worked hard to be like confident. Because you, you get confidence when you understand that like when you're doing works, you know how, you know, you know why it works, all that stuff. Like I earned it, I earned it, which is which is good because initially or my thought process is I always get my confidence through actually proving it to myself. But people have confidence that's like natural. Which is also good. Like there's nothing wrong with that. But I never got that. So when I earn my confidence, I feel significantly better because now I actually now I actually know that I'm not like in La La Land or like looking at the game through rose tinted glasses. It's just like Yeah. Like now I understand that I that I could I could try really hard to win and not like come across anything too unexpected. For some reason that text still holds true. I did not think it was that it was still like that susceptible. We're like it, the the tech is like eight months old, bro. <coughs> nice. Alright. We made a lot of progress so far. Sorry if I'm like, if I'm not actually talking about the game. <laughs> I like thinking about it internally. That's just like one of my, one of my biggest habits, so let's try to fix that up. Spear versus Gauntlets is just so free for Spear. It's just like, how do you, how do you lose in this matchup? The only way you could ever lose in this matchup is if your focus is just low, period. Okay, I like peer pressure him by complete accident. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so the reason why, like, there's always like a fan going off in my in my room, it's like I I swear it's not on purpose. My fans just happen to be so close to the mic. Like, there's okay, so there's one fan on my desk. I I can turn it on, but I'm not gonna do that, obviously. And then there's like one that you guys can't hear right now that's like right next to my door. I don't have a problem with it, but you guys do. So I can't exactly control it either without the, without like the whole house getting hot. So it's just like, whatever. Oh man, all right. Sphere until land should be good and bones to spear should be fine. Fastball, dodge. 
getting a dodge. We dodge them. Nice. He jumped dodge and I didn't even like contest him. Nice. He did it again. Fast ball and light. Oh my god, that could have went so bad. I should not have done that. The reason why is... <laughs> I went for an early recovery. And he was on unarmed. Chances are he could have just went from there. Nice juggle. Yeah, no, I, I heard the dare. So it was just like a matter of seeing if I could avoid that. Not bad. It was, it was time to just approach it from a different angle anyways. Okay, nice. The point of Brawlhalla is to at least, like competitively, like have a strong character, but... Thing is, I never had to worry about that. Or like, I never thought about it, or... I never thought about following the meta simply because like, Kai is like all I've ever played, so... Jeez, I got styled on. Yo, tell me why. That's like, that's like the best color in the game. Not to wait. I didn't cover it. Lucky. Yeah, nah. A new reading style on Spears is just like you sidelight them when they dodge. You see what happens right after it, and you just go from there. So if I sidelight him and he like any fast falls right after the dodge, I could just go for the sidelight again and then go for the for the stairs I just showed. It seems to work, and if anything, it makes things a lot more consistent because Spear lost its consistency after BCX, or most of it actually, from there, from the Nair nerf. So, I'm just trying to work around though, honestly. Okay, now the fan turned off, so it should be Chris Brawl the gameplay for the rest of the for the rest of the session. Oh, I queued into... I think it's Claudia. Three, two, one, I don't know what rank they, they are, but they were like 23, 24 last season. We're gonna want to play mostly for, for stage. Like, let's try and keep, keep the build player away from it as much as possible. dodge just bully her for it interesting yeah that was a little too ambitious but fuck probably the best part <coughs> about having a level 100 and after a little bit of research, 1200 hours on bow and 800 on spear, is that I will never have a character dilemma. The reason why people have character dilemmas is because they are stuck on the meta. Like people don't just pe people don't do this on purpose. People don't just pick up a character for fun. People who seemingly switch characters over and over again, like they have a reason behind that. You're trying to look for what's the best, which. Again, it's like, it's fine, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, you just kind of create a hole for yourself, personally. So I try to avoid that. Yes, Kai is all I play, so what? I will never be down 0-2 and just judge what, what, what legend I play next. It's just Kaya. And I just assume that it's all mental from there, so all is fine. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, my punish game is on like it's so clean right now. I like nothing. Ah. I say that and then you know. Nice. <coughs> I 
I seemingly like got somewhat better at juggling. It's like it, it's still inconsistent. Don't get me wrong. Like juggling is is still hard. Like it's ah, it's just hard. <laughs> Honestly, it, it's it's like something that you always have to like keep track of. If that makes sense. Like you always have to pay attention to like the next small habit. And the thing with Rahala is that there's there's so, there's so many like there's such little visual cues Three, two, one, that people just don't pick up in top level or, or like in, in lower levels of play or like lower ranks that they just assume that like it's just one foolproof st strategy. Technically, I did, but it didn't show. So, it's not like it matters. Nice read. Okay, this part's a little scary because Kai's six are still jump scares. They're just supposed to be high recovery. Wait, what am I saying? No, no, it's not. It's just scary if you if you're honestly like defensive at all times. It just reminds me of, of Lucian. Like if you're not paying attention, you're gonna lose. Like six are supposed to be instant on lower dex characters. The the whole thing is just to be in recovery. Like that's why I feel like I'd be really good at balance. The whole thing is it, like it give good character variety for everything to actually be like like mixed in with the stats but with the nature of brawlhalla like kind of not doing that and making low strength characters kill at orange like zero it's just you know to keep everything on the on the same like playing field every every low strength character is still killing like a little above average at least in terms of signatures in terms of like base damage and like kill options with weapons, you're, you're still gonna have to bully like the character or like your opponent until they die. I bet if I'm not if I'm not talking about the game again, I am so naturally adjusted to playing against Kaya that it's just natural for me. I faced so many dittos, bro, and so many people trying to take the crown. It's just like I don't know, natural. Oh, I'm surprised. What? Good game. <coughs> there we go. Two wins. Slowly going up. I know, I know I didn't take home, like, any dream hacks except for one. But I can safely say, like, I I've been working at consistency for so long. So to see myself get top three three times out of all the other 1v1 players makes me feel extremely confident. Because again, it's it's something you earn. It's it's something you earn personally. Like I can't just I can't just place a certain way and be like, yeah, yeah, I think I'm I think I'm I think I'm I'll, I'll take it home after getting something like like fifth. You know what I'm saying? Like that's it's not realistic. Like I've always I've always had like a, a pessimistic like point of view but like it, it just be because i have to prove it to myself Am I, uh, sorry i still kind of have to talk to myself is there a wake up nice nice i actually read him i read him uh going off the wall um, we don't go, when you're playing Kaya, you don't go for off-stage engagements all that often. Like, that's not your thing. 
But, if prompted, you should do it. Like, things like spearing this situation don't mix in well. Like, spear in disadvantage, like, when recovering the stage is, like, the most... It feels predictable to, to the spear player. No, I want to get the three stock. Please. Please! Oh, that was a good recovery method. Complete annihilation. <coughs> Whenever you're at that point where you're about to wall slip, you're forced to treat um, a dodge like a jump. Like, because at that point, you only have two jumps to go before before the three exclamation marks activate. Three, two, one, roll. By the end of placements, we might, we might actually end up placing into top 250. Koji. Man, if you guys think Bo's unpunishable on three decks, then you truly have not seen Koji in the flesh, bro. Like, I'm telling you guys right now, like, we haven't seen Koji in a long time. You guys have to understand, like, like, how, how different it is. Um, I prefer to play Bow in this situation. I actually need a faster weapon in this case. Like it's not it's not enough to just stuff the Koji out. It's like the less comfort they feel to just throw out moves, the better. Even though the whole time they they can just do that. And then, and it's honestly no problem. Wow that was sloppy, but let's get away with it anyways. Man, this drip is so good, but I can never see myself playing it in tournaments without like feeling wrong and just going back to score one. Please? Nice. Oh god. I didn't even realize, no. I was supposed to follow my own advice, but it failed. Another thing is, whenever, whenever you guys like ask me for tips or whatever, and I answer them, bro, I I understand the game better. It's just like a like it go like it goes both ways for both of us. I get to understand the game better because I'm explaining how to play the game to somebody, and then you guys get your answers whenever you're stuck. Surprised you went for that. Might be the last best of three for the for the session. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I don't think they're gonna rematch. Oh my god. Scarlet with the passion I hate. The most probably the most annoying character in the lower ranks. Absolutely made it like made it made an absolute like H word for me, bro. Everybody has those characters. Oh right, before you guys get confused as to why I'm going off stage when I said that it's not my thing, 
It's there's a difference between going off stage. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. The windpipe is still a little dusty. So there's a difference between going off stage and actually confirming. If somebody has low options, then you have to go for the op you have to go for the interaction no matter what, because in most cases it's a lot of it's a lot of value that you're missing. And what I mean by that is, if they have no resources, like if they have no jumps, and you don't confirm that, that's that's definitely on you. Like you kind of have to go for it in that case. Oh, he drifted in, bro. I did not mean to jump. And drifting is like the biggest part of why Lance was good. Like, the thing is, like, Lance is not exactly the freest weapon, trust me, I've, tr I've tried the weapon. But Drift is like the main source as to why it's so good. Somebody will, somebody will, will stare, correct? Somebody will side air. And like, they'll just, they, they can just filter between disengaging or just staying stacked. And it's probably the one of the most annoying things to ever deal with, in, like, ever, because Realistically, the Lance player is not supposed to, like, be able to escape. But then it's just like, you know, they do. Thing is, though, it's all the weapon has, so I would I would be cautious to nerf it. Or nerf it at all, to be honest. I, I don't really think it should be nerfed. It's just that, it's just frustrating, honestly. It's one of the... It's a, it's a recipe for disaster if you're not, if you're not, like, on that. Like if you're not if you're not taking action for somebody like for somebody's drift, like my advice to you, if you're struggling against Lance, is to just like chill, like take your time because they, although although they have like all the drift in the world, you still have control because it's still your advantage. They're just they're just managing the drift, and there's like like two different types of commitments, so it's not impossible. It's just you know. Against, especially against characters like Ulgrim, take your time. The, the punish will come to you naturally, I promise. Sidelight, spot dodge. I didn't even think I had another jump. <coughs> yeah, the nature of his gameplay made it so that he was just kind of like waking up. So, I had to get that out of the way. Did he prime Lance? I forgot. Dude, my execution. I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. Don't judge me. I'm working on it. The reason why I like um, recording on YouTube instead of streaming on Twitch is because, like, not only do I have control over my content, I don't have to deal with like the hassle of working with working with Twitch chat. They have like this. They have. Oh, that would have been so clean. <coughs> They have like a, a bunch of arrogance. Whole time they're just silver. It's, it's it's obnoxious. And if and if they are like being like, if they are just trolling, which in most cases they might be, it's still frustrating. It's just like it's it's just better to be on YouTube. So whenever I stream, it'll just be like it's just like once every two months. I really don't. I really don't like it. Platform kind of blows. Tbh. Okay, why am I even down there? I 
you follow my own advice, you play for a stage. That's what Kai is all about. Oh my god. Nice. Player two wins. Alright. <laughs> cool. You still lost. That's all that matters. What do we get? Wait, what? It does not show my it does not show me getting it? That's weird. <coughs> so we go at almost twenty three hundred for for a perfect ten out of ten. Rank 73, way above my expectations. Honestly, not a bad session, and that is very satisfying. So, we're just gonna end it off there, guys. Um, cheer me on for summers. Like, I'm working, I worked hard, I worked hard, I, I worked really hard to just um, somehow find a way to get my confidence and also improve on the game while also having my confidence. And needless to say, I feel ready. I want to I want to represent North America this time for the Royale. So, yeah. I'll see you guys on the flip. Peace!